son. That's how survived in these dirty rotten slum. These dirty rotten slum. These dirty rotten slum. God gave me his only begotten son. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. How you doing, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Welcome to another episode of Sunday Readings with Charlie the Catholic. It's the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. And today, we're going to get into the readings real quick because we have the second annual procession for the conversion of the country. That's where we pray the rosary and a couple of the parishes in the town get together and we come together to pray for the conversion of our country. You know, you got personal sins and then general sins of a nation. And our nation's entrenched in sins. You know, they try to redefine marriage. They're killing babies in the womb. You know, and they're making all this stuff legal. All this evil is legal in our country. And we have to pray for the conversion. And that's what we're going to do today after church. But, but before we go into today's readings, remember, charliethecatholic.com. Look at the shirt. You like the shirt? And also the backpack. Yes, and the backpack. And we got rosary. Sh we have a uh, here. Sticker. The oh. sticker on there. Look at these shirts we got. High quality. Beautiful. Beautiful shirts. My, my grandma got the first one. St. Sebastian. You know, we have chapel veils. St. Joseph got the shirt I'm wearing. You know, listen, these shirts are $30, but if you go to charlythecatholic.com, buy two of them, you get two for 50. All right? And remember, when you go to charlythecatholic.com, use JMJ discount code at the checkout. Now, Bobby. we're going to go into today's readings real quick. Yes, Princess? Don't forget about the stick on your Bible. Yes, this is my logo, please. Go to charliethecatholic.com and make a purchase. I appreciate everyone who likes and shares this video and everyone who makes a purchase. Everyone who's on my customers list, just know that I pray for you. You guys are in my attention. All right, today's first reading comes from the first book of Kings. Notice, when you give to God, God gives back to you. A reading from the book of Kings. So he went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the gates of the village, he saw a widow gathering sticks, and he asked her, Would you please bring me a little water in a cup? As she was going to get it, he called to her, Bring me a bite of bread, too. But she said, I swear by the Lord your God that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house, and I have only a handful of flour left in the jar and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal, and then my son and I will die. But Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Go ahead and do just what you've said, but make a little bread for me first. Then use what's left to prepare a meal for yourself and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says, There will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. So she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah and her son continued to eat for many days. There was always enough flour and olive oil left in the containers, just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today's responsorial song comes from Psalm 146. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Today's second reading comes from the letter to the Hebrews. A reading from the letter of the Hebrews. For Christ has entered, not into a sanctuary made with hands, a copy of the true one, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters the holy place yearly, with blood not his own. For then he would have had to suffer repeatedly since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once, for all, at the end of the age, to put away sin, by the sacrifice of himself. 
And just as it is appointed for men to die once, and after that comes judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Today's gospel from Mark. I want you to notice the widow. She put in two pennies. And everyone else was given out of their abundance. And she gave out of her poverty. That's what God asks us to do. Whatever little talent we have, we got to give it back to God. You know, I'm trying to uh, proclaim the, the gospel and, and, and announce the kingdom to everyone. You know, I'm not able to do it on a large scale, but I'm able to do it on a small scale here. Any little bit counts. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Beware of the scribes who like to go about in long robes and to have salutations in the marketplaces, in the best seats in the synagogues, and the places of honor at feasts, who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and watched the multitude putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. And a poor widow came and put in two copper coins, which make a penny. Jesus called his disciples to him. Truly I say to you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasure. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, guys, please come join us for this procession. We're going to go for like a, a little parade through the town, praying the rosary for the conversion of the country. Join me in this prayer. All right, let's go. Praise be Jesus Christ, now and forever. So how you doing, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Like I said, this is the second annual Eucharistic procession for the conversion of the country. Like I said, everyone, we're walking with our blessed Lord through the streets. We're bringing Jesus, Christ Jesus, out to the world. His real presence, body, blood, soul, and divinity. He said, this is my body. He said it, I believe it. You can feel his presence when he walks by. That's Christ Jesus in the monstrance. Hey Brian, talk about wearing your face, sharing your face. Tell them that shirt you got. Tell them where you got this shirt. CharlieTheCatholic.com. Oh, beautiful. Imagine walking in the streets of Jerusalem and Jesus walking by with the twelve apostles and his followers. What would that? What would, might have that felt like? But this is what it would have felt.
our Eucharistic procession. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, there goes my buddy right there, Brian, my brother in Christ right there. Thank you for joining us, and God bless you all. Yeah. Hey, tell them real quick, man. How did you become Catholic? Uh, I guess I was more or less born into it, of course. <laughs> Thanks be to God to that. God. How did you stay Catholic? Uh, I left for a while and came back about seven years ago or so. Same thing with me. I left, I came back about seven years ago. Me and this guy got a lot in common. Well, anyways, thank you guys for joining us. God willing, see you next week. Remember, like, share, subscribe, go to charliethecatholic.com. And thank you for everyone who makes a purchase. And God willing, see you next week. I love you. Bye. God gave me.